My name is Helen and I have been fostering for ISP for 24 years. I had been working in a therapeutic community for about three years and left to have my own children. And though I wanted to go back, I realised that there, there wasn't any way I could give that community the, the commitment that they required and have any time left over for my family. So my partner and I thought long and hard about how where we were going to go, what, what I was going to do. And it was then actually my brother suggested that we become foster carers. And that seemed to make complete sense because it was a way of combining the job that I loved and the family. The first child uh, was a, an internal move. I believe the foster carers were, were moving abroad and she was 12. And I remember my own children being so excited. She came to visit and they played hide and seek and uh, she hid in the wardrobe. She was quite a big girl and the, the bottom of the wardrobe fell out and she was very worried. I said, it didn't matter. And after she'd left, my children turned to me and she said, oh, can we keep her? Um, and uh, she came to us for probably about two years. So she was, she was the first young person that we fostered. It was very exciting, very new, very scary. One of the questions um, was how many children had we fostered? And I, th I think sometimes people worry too much about that because it, it, it's dependent on all, all sorts of things. Um, we, one young person we had for 14 years, another we had a brother and sister and they just stayed one night. Um, all have impacted on our lives um, in some way or another. Very rewarding was, was um, a, a little boy, he was only four when he came and we, we were able to, to sort of move him forward to a place where he could be adopted and that was, that was wonderful to hand him over to his new mum and dad. I remember sort of midway between the introduction period the mother turned to me and she said he's golden and I just thought you know, we, we've done a good job and it's going to be okay. He is going to be okay. Many years ago, probably more than 15, um, we were asked to take an emergency placement, um, a 15-year-old girl who was 36 weeks pregnant. We had to help her, teach her. We had about five weeks after the child was born to teach her how to look after her child independently. And then she went to somewhere in South End um, for a, a, a specific three month parenting placement. Um, unfortunately, that broke down sort of after a couple of months. She had left us, we weren't expecting to see her again, but I got a phone call one afternoon um, and it was her, she was distraught and she wanted me to come and pick her up her parents didn't want her back and so she called and I went and collected her and um, we drove away um, and about halfway um, halfway home she turned to me and she called me mum and she called me mum ever since and we're in touch still now and she'll phone me out of the blue and, and that that was special. Support has always been good and, and, and this is why we chose ISP in the first place. I know that there is somebody there 24-7, um, there is always somebody, even if it's not my particular fostering advisor, there are others who will know who we are and know our children, so there is always support. I find it very rewarding being a foster parent, um, it's clearly meeting a need in me. It is wonderful to see the children's successes. Sometimes they're quite small and sometimes their kind of moves forward are, are very tiny. And sometimes they're maybe not seen until many, many, many years later um, in the way they bring up their own children perhaps. But yes, it, it's very rewarding. We've always been happy fostering for ISP. Um, we have a fantastic relationship with our fostering advisor and the manager here is, is, is great, very approachable. We have, have no reason at all to foster for anyone else.